All right, boys. Here we go. It's the first day ride that we've had together in, uh, gosh, what's it been now? Like two months? Probably. It's not like... It feels like it. It's been a while. Yeah, you guys heard me uh, bitch all winter. Quote, winter. I mean, Florida, right? About how cold it was. And then, uh, well, this past week, out of nowhere, we're like 97, 98 degrees. I know if you're out in the west, the desert, I would rather have the humidity, I think, than 115 yeah. degrees. Yeah, she does too. And she's from the desert. Yeah, so, uh, you know, with my new job, you know, supposedly I wasn't going to be working every weekend. And I guess technically I'm not since I'm off this weekend. But uh, they had me working three weekends in a row, like full ass, <laughs> full on weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, her bike's been down because why wouldn't it be? <laughs> and yeah, we did get to get out on Sunday. Today's Saturday. So we got out you know, like six days ago and we got out on Wednesday night for bike night. I don't, like I told you guys, I don't record everything that we do. I didn't record that. So today, one of our traditional biker mama and biker daddy day dates. I'm a big fan. We've been doing that pretty much since we got over here um, until recently. So, yeah, I'm excited. We're going to do, uh, do a couple things that we've always done. And uh, I might try something new today. She doesn't even know about it yet. I was going to look up where it starts. Yeah, for somebody who said I'm going to stop doing moto vlogs, I sure have been doing a bunch of them lately. So, I hope you guys are here for it. <laughs> what do you guys think about... Um, I don't care what she thinks, but uh, what do you guys think about getting Bo Mama a GoPro? Putting it on her helmet. Ooh. What do you think about it, baby? I'm fine with it. It yeah, does add a whole lot of talking, but... <laughs> it does add uh, some noticeable weight to the chin of your helmet, so yeah. that's one thing to consider. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Don't mind me. <laughs> You're taking too long. <laughs> You guys hear her being smart ass. <laughs> We're, I'll, I'll try to get some uh, B roll of her if we can get it side by side with her floorboards and her new exhaust. I mean, guys, it looks the same standing still as it does going, but I don't know. I think it'd be some cool shots. But yeah, we're going to head over to a, a pub called Saints and Sinners, which is attached to the, uh, uh, he calls it the Daytona Beach Harley shop, but it's not. It's in Ormond Beach, Teddy Morse's. Uh, Daytona Beach Harley Davidson and then kind of go from there in my in my head I've got uh, these grand ideas for what I'd like to do today but uh, sit me down and feed me put some beers in me that all might change you know what I'm saying are you getting gas too I mean yeah might as well get your own gas I will yeah I stopped trying to play the uh, motorcycle Legos with her a while back because yeah she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing, basically. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We both park all fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this this GoPro right here that I'm pointing at right now. Um, I've had this thing since, um, gosh, when did I get it? 2017. It's a GoPro Hero 6, and I've and I've been using it this whole time. Uh, I wear an eight on my uh, on my face. So I'm the kind of person who likes three batteries for every device for every camera that I have so um, right after I bought this Hero 6 in 2017 I bought two additional batteries and finally after all these years they started to puff up so I ordered some compatible batteries and uh, yeah they're compatible but man it takes sometimes it takes a little finesse to get it to, to read anything other than zero percent on the battery so hopefully it doesn't f with us too much today so, while it's not my favorite style of riding by any stretch of the imagination, my bike has been getting an absolute workout lately and going back and forth to work. I didn't like riding back and forth to work to Burt's. I mean, you guys know we moved. One of the big reasons we moved was because how dumb traffic is over there. Oh, she's got her first badge of honor, too. We'll show you guys that here in a little bit. <laughs> now that she's got her floorboards and their... And uh, her pipes are right next to the floorboard. She got a big old burn mark on her boots, and she's like, "Oh man!" I'm like, no. Time to get new ones. Just no, kidding. I'm just kidding. No, that's a badge of honor, man. That's how you can tell. I'm, I'm like, going. Oh, shit, okay. It's like, yeah, I ride my. 
I used to have uh, straight pipes on a Sportster that I rode years ago. And uh, every pair of shoes I had had two very distinct burn marks because of the two places that my, my feet would ride on the exhaust. Oh man, it feels good to be out and about in the middle of a day with my wife. Good temperature when riding. When riding, yeah, it's it's very warm out now. I mean, it's 80, but it's a <laughs> it's a sweaty. Uh, basically, what I'm saying, guys, if it's not 72 degrees on the dot, I'm gonna complain. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, one way or the other. 70 degrees, too cold. 78 degrees, <laughs> that I'm going in the air conditioning. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to get up the road. Uh, I'll try to get some shots of Bo Mom on, on her super sex fat pop. And uh, we'll, we'll see you up at Saints and Centers. What happens when you're old is that you get up way early in the morning and by the time seven hours passes, you're like, hell yeah, let's get out and go raise some hell, but it's like 11.30 and uh, the band's not even set up yet. So yeah, we're pretty early. Uh, we're gonna have some beers and some lunch. Look at Bo-Mama's shoes. And she's like, she's like sad about it. Those are now your best boots. Yeah. You don't think so? They're my ride boots for real now. Yeah, so now you're a real biker. Yeah. So we talked about it on the way up here, but I think we might try to do Worm and Loop. I've never done it. We've lived here seven months right by it. And uh, it depends, you know, it depends on uh, how these beers talk to me. All right, boys. So we uh, clearly have left Saints and Sinners. We raced a douchebag down Highway 1. <laughs> now, we've seen this guy over at the bar. We make fun of people revving all the time, right? It's kind of funny when you're out here, right? But when you're at the Harley shop or a biker bar, everybody has the same bike and the same exhaust sound. It's, it's funny. Anyway, we leave the bar and we see him pull out of another parking lot. And uh, he gets next to us and he's revving as loud as he can. So obviously we had to respond in kind because it's legally required. <laughs> you know, revving. He takes off. I think it's the first time I've redlined the Road King. Either that or my clutch flip, something. Because I get up in third gear and it's like, Rrr. <laughs> hope I didn't burn that up. Anyway, we're turning up here on the left. We're gonna we're gonna hit the uh, Ormond Loop, and uh, I don't know how this uh, People's Republic of China battery is gonna do in this gold in this uh, gold wing uh, in this GoPro that's facing me. We'll see. I mean, I've used it for a grand total of like nine minutes. The battery's almost dead, so. I've never been on the Ormond Loop. Baby, have you been on the Ormond Loop? I have not. I had to look it up on the map, and I'm pretty sure we're going to the right place. It looked, it, this looked like it to you, right? Yeah. All right, come on. So, uh, somewhere back here, it also looks like there's like three roads you can take, like maybe if you wanted to do a figure eight or something. I don't know. I think I'll be way too thirsty to be doing like a whole bunch of passes and stuff. Uh, but Bo Mama and I have come down this way, I believe, when she took me to see her work, which isn't far away from here. Honestly, right. what she does is uh, she comes over here all day and goes fishing off this dock. And, uh, Should I wish? I don't even like fishing, but that sounds more fun than what I do. Nice house is over here. Yep, there's some nice house. I bet these, oh, crunch construct. I, it's crunch time. Man, you got it. Come on. <laughs> That's some cheesy shit you'd come up with. I know, but it's like, I want to build your multi million dollar home. Oh, yeah, is your construction company called like Dibbins the Third Construction Company or something? Like, no, it's crunch time, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you, what's the marketing look like this? The dude coming out in a fucking muscle shirt, ripping his tank top off. All right, somebody made a comment on one of my shorts recently talking about, this guy acts like Florida's the only place with bushes. I, I, 
I hate you. Whoever you are, but look at this. Your state might have this, but it's not Florida. Like, like that's the downside. It's like, yeah, you got pretty things to look at, but you're stuck in Alabama. You know what I mean? It's like that's. Oh, this is great. You don't have Florida, man. Nobody talks about Alabama, man. But we, I know I'm ruining the vibe, but check. Look at this. Jesus Christ, this is gorgeous. What do you think, baby? Oh, it's nice. It's a nice ride. Very pretty. And for the first time, I let that guy go. I'm just, I'm enjoying it. What is this? Normally, I'd be right up this dude's ass, like, move, move, mother. Yeah, this is pretty, man. I've seen the, the pictures, and uh, my boy Kenny Quest. I actually posted an Ormond Beach ride uh, back during bike week. Ooh. Look at all these guys out here trying to catch some dinner. Yep. They've been out here a long time, too. You see how tan they were? Holy shit. God, yeah, this is why I tan. I had no idea this was out here. Oh, I, I like this. This is, if you if you look on the uh, Ormond Loop, Ormond Historic Scenic Loop, whatever they call it, I don't know. It's the Ormond Loop. On the website, it's like, you know, it's marketing, right? They're, oh, discover a piece of old Florida, unmolested by the dicks of humanity. You know, whatever they say in their marketing terms. It's got all these pictures of this stuff. I, I'll bet you that house right there. What? Gorgeous. The house? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, this is something else, man. I know maybe you guys are tired of hearing me saying how beautiful this is, but... When I, when I tell you guys how much I love this state, I, I, don't, I don't think you understand. I really don't. And uh, yeah, yeah, other states have canopy trees and I don't know. Just knowing that right over those trees, there could be some naked crackhead like trying to chase an iguana or something. That <laughs> that gets me off, you know what I mean? Both the iguana and the meth head. So. Now, as far as the meth heads and weird shit go, I mean, Arkansas could give us a run for our money, but, but uh, yeah, it's different. White butterfly almost got you. There's like a bunch of them out here. And when I moved here ten years ago, guys, it's like, and you have to, you have to kind of dig deep in the, uh, in the portfolio. You know, when I, when I talked about it was my first time in my adult life living alone, and it was, I did it for 14 months. And my first experience living alone was in Jacksonville, and I just moved from Phoenix. So I went from a large city to a large city. You know, the beach was close by, but I still had a very, and now keep in mind, I'm, I'm raised on a 130 acre small cattle farm in East Tennessee, but I, I pretty much adopted a very urban city, you know, way of life. And uh, Jacksonville made me fall in love with the state. But then the more I spend time in Florida and over the last 10 years, you know, we just moved to kind of get away from that hubbub. But it's it's this it's it's this shit right here, man. There's so many of these canopy roads that uh, exist where they they cut the trees back. Some of them they leave alone. And they call them like historic canopy roads. You can go on like one of the state of Florida websites to find like all the can the official canopy roads. It's probably listed. I love how they leave these alone. And, and I know a lot of times they cut trees away on these roads, so that way. No, trucks can get through. Yeah, nobody likes being around trucks, but they do like provide pretty much everything we use, that railway. But I hate to think that uh, trucks are even allowed back here, honestly. So what's what's back here? A neighborhood. Dirt road. Whoa, did you just slam on yeah. your You just peeled out back there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you are doing. <laughs> My brake lights not work? <laughs> God damn, she's back there. Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I turned the camera off a little bit ago. And I actually meant to get one of the cameras out where you guys can see my uh, pretty face. But I forgot to, and I got my helmet back on. But I'm pretty sure I've seen this exact spot in pictures. This is probably one of the most picturesque places on this route so far and um yeah we stopped and took some pictures you know because if it's not on instagram it didn't really happen so i'm a firm believer in that we were never here this is perfect this is like uh tail of the dragon florida edition ah except there's not that many curves all right off we go yeah so um i didn't really look at the loop that closely and uh, a couple times we found some turns 
I'm like, oh, let's go this way. Thinking I was being adventurous. But no, it's just a normal loop. <laughs> I mean, we had options. I didn't have to turn this way. It just looked nice and you turned and that was the plan all along. Stay over there. Yeah. This was always the plan. There's some other biker mamas back there. I don't, I don't know what all to say here, guys, to kind of keep you uh, entertained. But uh, I'm just going to leave the camera going. And if I happen to say something, great. Um, if not, just kind of enjoy this with me. I, man, I'm just really digging it. There's a, there's a, uh, a, a motorcycle ride over near Tampa. I think it's called the North Hillsboro Loop or something that I heard about seven, eight years ago. And I never did it the whole time you know, we lived over there. And uh, I don't know if I regret it or not, because there's not really a whole lot going on right there. But this one, ever since I've been over here, people are like, ride the Ormond Loop. And I'm thinking, oh, okay. No, I'm glad we did that today. God, we almost, I'm going to tell you what, you guys can blame the band for us being out here today. Because uh, we just finished a bucket. Band was almost playing. And I, I said, if they play Skinner, if they open with Skinner, we're staying. But they opened with uh, Santana, which is fine, but not enough to make me stay. Draw bridges for people with boats. Who the fuck you think you are? Ormond uppities. <laughs> That's it, right? Yep. Is that your biker mama behind us? Or is that a dude? Um, I don't know. It's a dude. Uh, speaking of dudes, in my last video where I talked about going back to work, uh, a couple of you guys commented, hey, I'd like to see... A pressure washing video so i actually put it out as a uh, as a poll speaking of polls i'll get there in a second but uh, <laughs> i put a poll out on my channel a couple days after i had a pressure washing job yesterday so like four days before that i put a poll i said you know i have a job a house wash coming up this this friday is this something that you guys would be interested in or no and uh, overwhelmingly, you guys voted yes. It was like 83% yes, 17% absolutely not. A couple people commented, don't make it a regular thing. No, I don't want to make pressure washing videos. I opted not to record yesterday. So I went out to this place. <laughs> this is why you said speaker. <laughs> this is why what? <laughs> Speaking of the poll or whatever yeah. you said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, Bo Wallet gets it. Because I almost got it yesterday. Anyway. So I went out to bid this job two weeks ago on a Sunday. And then uh, nobody was at the house. The guy was taking ownership of it. It's a mobile home. And uh, it's just, I, nobody was outside. It's just a 55 plus community, right? I'm like, okay, whatever. The guy wants to watch his mobile home, fine. So I get there yesterday. And uh, there's kind of like a little labyrinth through there to get where I wanted to go. And I turned the corner and I seen this dude. Had to be 75 years old. Buff naked, except for a pair of like shower shoes. I'm like, all right, so this guy's either senile or I'm in a nudist park and I didn't know it yet. Um, I, I didn't know which way to lean yet. I'm like, I, I don't know if this is, if this guy's just crazy. Oh, we, we're at the ocean. Oh yeah. Walk on the ocean. So, uh, you know, I get there and I set up my stuff. I'm thinking, okay, that's kind of weird, but oh, all right, I get it. And uh, no, no, I just, you know, here comes another naked man walking down the road <laughs> to the dumpster, like throwing his trash out. And then here comes another naked old man on a golf cart. You know, he, wa he waved at me and I, I don't, do you wave? I mean, do you do the, you know, the old crotch salute? What do you do with that? You know, there, and it, there, I saw like 20 or 30 senior citizen dicks yesterday and i really didn't want to you know no and then one dude like i'm in the middle of washing this house and my pressure washer's going he stops and he's talking to me he's like oh that's a pretty quiet oh look at this isn't this pretty yeah holy smokes look at this guys god we got swamps we got ocean today we got senior citizen dicks He's just like, hey, that's a pretty quiet pressure washer. You know, just uh, trying to have a normal conversation with me as if that whole thing's not weird to at least one of us, you know. <laughs> and I, t I said earlier how it's been like in the 90s all week. And you would have sworn, though, yesterday, they, they were all cold. They had to have been. That's the only explanation. <laughs> so I don't understand the draw for nudist. You know, you're a kid, you think nude beach or whatever. You're like, oh, yeah. All these fucking naked hot chicks. And uh, these are all old people. 
there was one lady there this whole time that was also nude, but I'm going to tell you right now that it was like 30 dudes and one lady, and the lady was as impressive as the dudes. If you can't, I mean, it was awful. And I'm just there, I'm just making a buck. You know, I should have charged extra for having to look at 30 dicks. Anyway, that's enough of that. You guys saw Ormond Loop. You heard about, uh, you heard about my uh, nudist senior, wait, yeah, senior nudist trailer park. Don't know how many states have those, but apparently we do. We'll see you down the road. No, we can't come down to uh, Daytona without visiting our, uh... you guys know our spot. Main Street, I like it not in bike week because it's dead. You guys know how it is. You guys think I should take me inside? Finally, after all this time teasing you, take you inside a bar. I'm sure you've never seen the inside of a bar before. Let's head inside. Let's go take a look. Just kidding. I'm not taking you guys inside of Froggy's ever. If you guys ever want to come down here and see yourself, you're more than welcome to. Let me know when you're coming into town, too, so I can blow you off. I'm just kidding. Somebody told me in a comment in a few videos ago that I was getting a big head. Fucking news flash. My head's been ginormous for decades. So if you think my head's getting big, you're way out of line. We are uh, coming back into old D land here, right next door to Pound Town, baby. And uh, we're going to go to one of our favorite bars. Now, this, honestly, this is the bar I shouldn't show you guys. This bar is a little more close to the heart than Froggy's is. Froggy's a good place, but it's not the old Glenwood Tavern. Glenwood Tavern is one of those bars where you definitely don't feel safe, but you also feel right at home. Some of you guys, that's the same feeling. So uh, it is a 1% bar, and uh, that's why I've never recorded in there. And they have a, uh, a sign that talks about don't record in here without express permission. Well, the bar owner one day says, uh, hey, somebody told me you have a YouTube channel. So somebody's watching my channel and told him. And I said, yeah, I've never filmed anything in there. I saw your signs. He goes, no, no, you can film all you want. Just make sure you uh, show the name of the bar front and center. Yes, sir, you got it. I guess the problem was uh, there was a guy going around uh, filming like ADA compliant stuff so he could turn people in. So he just said, uh, no, no filming, you know, without express permission. I get it. Man, that old lady smoking her cigarette in the van with the window is full up. Hell yeah. She wants the first hand and the second hand smoke. Ain't none of that shit. With the price of cigarettes nowadays, you got to get all of the smoke. Oh, yeah. Looks like the taco truck is set up. I'm going to tell you guys, man, we, we tried Mexican food over in Tampa. You guys know we moved over from Phoenix and, uh, when you're that close to Mexico, the Mexican food is dynamite. In Tampa, there's not really a whole lot of our Mexican brothers and sisters there. It's a lot more Puerto Ricans and Cubans. So the Mexican food is kind of mid at best. And this little food truck right here is one of the best around. We're going to come over here and get eight fucking tacos. <laughs> there it is, the old Glenwood Tavern. It must have the air conditioner on because the door is doors closed you guys have seen a lot of the uh, backwoods bars that we went to in tampa uh, in the surrounding area this is definitely qualifies as one of those i always affectionately call them murder bars you can never mistake the sign of my people old glenwood tavern all right shitty lighting because uh, i didn't feel like bringing my good camera in but this is a no-nonsense bar you come to this bar to drink that's it there's no music playing until I get here. I load up the touch tunes with Leonard Skinner and Travis Tripp. You just come here to drink. No nonsense. And a Mexican taco shop outside. In fact, I'm waiting. I just ordered eight. I'm going to show you guys. They're fucking delicious. Look at them and you're like, how are there four tacos in there? Open those bad boys up. These are street tacos, right? That's what you call them? Look at this shit. Watch this shit. We're gonna get the full, thorough, Oh Mama review right now. All right, let's hear it. Full and thorough review. Okay. It's funny how every city, every place looks at the green. Yeah. How are they? I mean, even the food. Superb. Superb? Now, normally in this relationship, I'm a taco eating champion, but in this case, she likes the street tacos. I like domesticated ones, so. 
All right, we're about to fuck up these tacos, and uh, we'll see you later.